What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you how I make my Kong template for when I want to use my pads on my MPK. So, the first thing I'm going to do is create four NNXTs. Of course, you create more for however many drums you're going to use. I'm just going to do four because I'm just showing you how to do it as an example. So, I'm going to name them. This will be my kick. I'm going to do a snare here. Whoops. I'm going to do a uh, hi-hat here. I'm going to do a cymbal here. I'm going to change these colors to match my comb colors just so it's consistent in the mix mixer. Um, next I'm going to add some drums to this. So, symbol, hi hat, and if you want these drums, they they are available on my site. This is my personal kit. I made it from scratch. You won't find these sounds anywhere else unless they stole it from me. Kick. That's always a hard decision. I'm gonna go with this one. Now what I'm gonna do is get the Kong to trigger these in the next T's. So I'm gonna flip it over and drag the gate input of the NNXT to the gate out for each pad in relation to where I want it to in relation to which drum I want it to trigger. I think I just Now when I flip it back over, I select the calm. I can control the calm with my pads. And in doing this, I can create mute groups and all kinds of stuff that I wouldn't be able to do if I was using the red drum. So if I put the open the symbol and the hi-hat on the same mute group, they'll cancel each other out. So when I play my cymbal, my hi hat will automatically cancel that out. I play my hi hat, it'll cancel out. If I play my cymbal, the hi hat will cancel it out. If I play my hi hat, the cymbal will cancel that out. Obviously, the hi hat has a pretty short length, so you won't have to worry about that. But that's how that works. And then I can link things. So if I wanted two things to play at the same time, like say the I wanted the kick and the snare to play at the same time for some reason, then I could do that. And then you have the alt group, which means if you have two different drum sounds, like you have two snares or two hi-hats even, we could use that example. So I'm going to change this down here to another hi-hat and show you what the alt group is. So, if I put both of these in an alt group, then they'll alternate between each other. Turn those off. So, flipping this back over, I'm pressing one pad, pad three, and it's going back and forth. When I click on it, it automatically triggers this. But when I press my pad, it goes back and forth by itself. So those are cool features in Kong if you like finger drumming and stuff like that. And you could put your samples up here too. Um, you could have that controlled by the Rex. I'm going to be doing a sample series pretty soon. So I'll show you all kinds of ways to sample and reason. And you can use whatever's best for your workflow. Now you notice when I'm playing the NNXT and the Kong, I'm getting different pitches. This is my snare. 
you could definitely hear the pitch change with the snare. So in order to get rid of that, I just drop down the insert effects, add a matrix. If you are familiar with my red drum template, then you've seen this. Bring this down to one step. And I take this note CV into the CV of the NNXT. So the matrix is going to send the NNXT a steady note, which is C, which is that note. So now it's the same note. So you would do that with each of your drums, and then you could tune it to your liking by setting the root note to the pitch detection, and then from there you can change it from the matrix. So you know the absolute value note of your drums at all times. So I know that in doing this template, a lot of people are going to snap at me like, you can use the NN Nano. Yes, you can use the NN Nano. However, you do have more control over your samples using the NNXT, as you can see. Um, look at, there's so much more you can do with your sample as opposed to just using the NN19. However, if you do want to use the NN19, that is also um, an option. But I prefer to use the NNXT because I have more control and I can have separate mix channels for each of my drums. You can also do that with the the, the 14-2 mixer and so on. The mixer is this, or you could use the line mixer. But I prefer everything to just be in the main mixer up here. So this is how I prefer to do my drums. So user preference, whatever works best for your workflow is what you can use. So if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you would like to see next. And it's all culture.